starting. We're starting, everybody. All right, we're set. Hi, everybody. This is Gina from Empirical Paranormal. We are at the Phelps Mansion Museum in Binghamton, New York. We are on part two investigation of this week. We were here Halloween night, and it was popping. It was. We had a shadow figure, we had REM pods going off, we had cat balls going off, we had voices. What else did we have bells going on? Bells ringing. Um, yeah, there was actually an actual bell on the dining room table and it rang. So we had a lot going on in Halloween night. So um, we have Amanda here. She is going to be giving the history of the Phelps Mansion. If you can give a little bit of history also about this past week of our food. Uh, passing as well, that would be great. Uh, so this house was built by uh, Sherman Phelps in 1870. He was a wealthy businessman here in Binghamton. He and his family moved into the house, but unfortunately their time here was very short. Um, he passed away in, in 1878, and two years after that, uh, he just had, he had a heart attack. He was kind of older. Um, but two years after that, his youngest son, Arthur, whom it was just his anniversary, he actually had spinal meningitis and he passed away um, at the age of 21. The following year, the older son, uh, Robert, he also passed away. He had a stroke and he mm -hmm. suffered for a couple of days and then he passed away. And then 10 months after that, his wife had also passed away. She developed genetic fever. So within a period of four years, the entire family had passed away and the house was empty. So unfortunately, this house has seen a lot of tragedy in its time. Yep, so um, being that like Halloween was the anniversary of Arthur's death, mm -hmm. and um, yesterday was his funeral, and the, the veil is still thin, um, we might get a lot that might happen tonight, you never know.